I was supposed to upload this video last week, but for some reasons I decided to clean my computer and by mistake I deleted all the footage and emptied the bin. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, I'm Alexa and today's video will be about vending machines. It might seem weird to talk about vending machines, but they actually are really interesting. Did you know that in Japan there are more than 5 million vending machines? That means almost one every 23 people. And they rack in more than 60 billion dollars every year. Don't just simply think that those vending machines sell juice, water and snacks, cause it's not the case. Of course, they need to sell more than that to reach this huge amount of money. Let's go back in history. The first actual vending machine was created in 1888 by a Japanese inventor that was also a full-time furniture maker. And he created this machine that sold tobacco at the time. If you go to Japan, you can still find the oldest vending machine existing in Japan. It's dated 1904 and it was a stamp and postcard machine, vending machine. For only a few cents, it was possible to buy a stamp or a postcard in the post offices and they were really common at the time. You can still find it in the National Post Office Museum and see how that works. But the actual boom for those vending machines happened in 1950s when the automated fountain-style juice dispensers were installed in the office buildings. And for only 10 yen, the employees were able to buy a cup of juice in a cup of paper. With those juice machines, also the ice machines were really popular at the time. However, in the 60s and 70s, we have a change. Those machines were used to dispense short or long distance tickets in the train stations. The reason is pretty simple. Those train stations were really isolated from the city or really popular areas. So it was more convenient to have those vending machines instead of actual employees. Also because they were 24 hours 7 available. Fun fact is that today, in 2022, almost 100% of the train tickets are sold this way. Even when you go to the big train stations like the Tokyo train station or Osaka train station, those employees basically give you the directions or help you purchasing the tickets. But the tickets are actually sold by those vending machines. Now let's dig a bit into the reasons why those vending machines are so convenient and popular. First of all, those vending machines are easier and cheaper to place rather than renting a workspace. Also, the cost saving in the workforce is impressive. They don't need full-time employees, they just need someone every few days to go recharge the stocks. They are 24 hours 7 available and let's be honest, Japanese love automatization. They don't need to face anyone or give explanation and they avoid embarrassment by buying their own things in full independence. Those vending machines offer also the hot and cold options, both for the drink and the food.
fact, we might be familiar with vending machines selling snacks, but in Japan, it's not all so simple. They can offer curry rice or ramen, toast, or why not meat. There are places, restaurants having vending machines instead of chefs. There are restaurants who use those vending machines to sell toasts or other kind of foods. For example, in a rural area where commuting is really hard, also hiring full time employees it is. So they prefer to offer food or other options through the vending machine. It's common also to use those vending machines to sell tickets for the food you want to purchase in the small restaurants that have only two or three employees and maybe a large variety of customers every day. So to keep in order the situation, to organize better the restaurants, they have vending machines selling tickets for the food you want to buy instead of having to deal with the employees or maybe to surpass some language barriers. If you experience this kind of restaurant, it's really simple to understand how it works. You have the vending machines at the entrance, both inside or outside sometimes. You just buy by looking at the pictures, the menu you want to enjoy, and once you pay with the coins, you just give the ticket to the staff and they will cook and prepare for you the meal and they will serve it to you and there's no need for you to tip them or do whatever else. For the other general vending machines, usually they accept coins or banknotes they also accept credit cards or point cards. For example, if you are in a train station and you want to buy a bottle of juice, you just go to the vending machine and pay with your Suica card, the train card, the rechargeable card that allows you to buy a ticket without having to deal with others. If you want to consider this activity, this business, it's really simple how to start. First of all, on the website, you can check the types of vending machine you're interested in. Decide your own items, have an appointment to look into those vending machines and decide the model that you prefer, then decide the type of product that you want to offer and decide also on the graphic of those vending machines. In fact, even if the most common vending machines are the Coca-Cola ones, you can have your own style like Geisha or Daruma or Manga style. You can print your own animation, you can choose to put some graphics that represent the city or whatever you like. Going back to the start of this video, I said that those machines are not selling only food, snacks or juices. In fact, in Japan, there is a thing called the vending machines hunting. This vending machine hunting is nothing less than going around in the cities and try to find the cheapest vending machine or the most weird vending machine ever. You can actually find guns vending machines, really, really old vending machines. Also, tobacco vending machine. In Akihabara, you can find the popcorn vending machine. Also, you can find canned bread or cake and canned oden. For those who don't know, 
The oden is a broth, a Japanese daishi broth, and inside it has boiled eggs, boiled tofu, cognac, and other vegetables or sausages. It's really popular in autumn and winter, and you can find it basically in the convenience store or the supermarket. And the employees will pour it into containers for you to bring it home. So it's kind of weird to find the canned oden in the vending machines, but it's amazing, why not? There are also banana or apple vending machines, fruits in general, flowers vending machines, kimchi vending machines. There are also Japanese vending machines selling broth for the soup, soy sauce or fish sauce. Japanese vending machines that actually pour you the ice cream, the Japanese ice cream. Cotton candy, rare cotton candy vending machines. But also natto vending machine. There are also other vending machines selling other kind of items. For example, souvenirs, postcards, also omamori. In some temples or in really touristic areas, you can find vending machines selling omamori. And let's be honest, this saves you from waiting in line for hours at the temple. That's not all. There are actually really weird vending machines and those who go vending machine hunting actually want to find them so badly. There are vending machines selling used underwear. Those vending machines actually sell girl underwear panties that are used and smell for the creeps, you know. And also, mysterious vending machines. Vending machines that sell unknown items. You will not know what kind of item it is until you actually buy one. There are also weird, weird, extremely weird vending machines that sell grasshoppers and bee larves. Sometimes it's to be eaten for um, innovative food trend somehow, I don't know, I think that's gross, or for fishing. Of course, it cannot miss the umbrella vending machine. There are a lot of them and it's a lot of fun to just go around and try to find weird vending machines. The weirdest I found was the vending machines for batteries. Batteries like the Duracell battery and they had like all shapes and for all purpose also for the gas stove so that was pretty fun you can go to Japan and have a lot of fun trying to find out weird vending machines and if you want to consider that kind of business just go check the description I will leave the link in the description so just go check it out hope you had fun with this video thank you so much for watching see you next time bye